the prism what is the prism first we will discuss about the what is the prism how it is made of okay what are the advantages of the prism okay simply the prism you might have seen the prism in outside uh, it's uh, looks like a in triangle shape so uh, one more point is that prism uh, it has the side one side is like this other side is like this top side is that that is one sense we can say that is the three dimensional shape it contains so the prism it's a transparent definitely it is transparent then only the refraction is happen the best example the best example the refraction wants to take place means the prism when they the so in the prism how the refraction is takes place now we are going to see okay in that case the some small derivation is there that is the refractive index of the prism prism so this is very important for your future classes in the entrance purpose also you may get the problems so refractive index of the prism okay before i am going to tell about that um, topic first we will discuss the snell's law already you know very well already in uh, previous class i said about the snell's law what is the snell's law so generally you might have written like this so what is that uh, n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r then what happen sin i by sin r is equal to what you can write n2 by n1 okay what is this n2 by n1 so n2 by n1 is here one sense we can say one constant sin i by sin r is equal to constant in general that constant we are considering here mu symbol sin i by sin r is equal to mu okay now we can define the snell's law this we are calling the snell law or snell law okay simply see here what is there the ratio difference between sin of angle incident and sin of angle refraction equal constant that we are calling the snell's law so all of you understood sin i by sin r is equal to mu this we are calling the law of snell or snell's law this given by the snell is the scientist name is name on the name only the law came that's why we are calling this is the snell law okay this snell law is very very important for deriving the refractive index of the prism okay next you you understood the what is that um, snell's law next index what is a refractive index next refractive index generally we are denoting the n letter or mu letter so what is that definition so light is traveling in the vacuum vacuum means already you know the letter c so then light is traveling in the medium so we can give from this formula definition the light traveling in the medium sorry light traveling in the vacuum divided by light traveling in the vacuum so then we can say this is the refractive index so the refractive index for all materials and all prisms are having same or whether it is same or not will find out so now so there are uh, uh, air also has refractive index then glass also has refractive index then water also has then materials then iron different different element different different compounds different different objects has refractive index that is different for different that we'll discuss after this derive okay now we are going to derive the refractive index of the prism or refractive index of the refractive index for different different materials okay for that purpose now i am drawing here the prism diagram the prism is a triangle shape 
okay then all sides are equal this is one side this is other side this is other sides all sides are equal okay now i am going to give the name of the prism see suppose we are there okay for us also name will be there definitely so similarly this triangle or this prism name p q r p q r okay this is one side this is on a side other side so let us take here what is that point p point is there is there any angle no now an, i am drawing another line this is one side this is another side is there any angle between these two lines s yes, angle is there that angle what we are calling means prism angle what is the first letter in the angle a is there first letter that's why we are writing here a always refract uh, i and r why we are why we are considering those letters only means the first letter that's why angle of the prism okay this is the prism diagram so now suppose if you want to refract uh, refraction wants to take place means refraction should be happen here how it can be refraction wants to take place means how many mediums you should need definitely two medium should be there one is rarer medium another one is denser medium so the prism is made by the total glass yes or not yes so the prism i kept in the suppose uh, in on the earth planet or on the table or on the benches somewhere else i kept okay if you draw with pencil then if you point pick the points and if you draw you will get this type of shape so this is totally made by the glass so this is transparent transparent means the light is passing through the that medium then we can say that is the transparent okay another name is there opposite to transparent apache is there that is different okay this is transparent means light is light can pass through it then we can say that is the transparent material so now what i want i want i have to consider the light rays then light rays pass through this prism okay now i am considering one light ray 